About three weeks ago, DV came out with a huge update and they made a big promise that sites built with DV can now achieve an out of the box 90 plus score on Google PageSpeed Insights. Now, I don't usually talk much about page builders on this channel, but because this involves site speed, that piques my interest. I'm a site speed junkie. Anyway, a couple of months ago, I tested DV among many other page builders in these videos, and DV happened to be one of the slowest. And to think DV is now one of the fastest? It's kind of unbelievable. But I know I should not let past experiences cloud my judgment. We need fresh data on this before I can give you an opinion about this update. And that's why I'm doing this video. Now, the DV performance update page says near perfect page speed scores out of the box. It uses a standard WordPress host and CDN with no additional performance plugins. And as DV promised out of the box performance, I would test this out of the box performance. So what we're going to do is build this page from scratch. It is a same page I've used to test all other page builders and right in front of you, I will show you how I built that page so you know how I get to the end product. And after that, I'll be doing the same thing I did with the previous test. The web host will be the same server as the last test and no caching plugins will be installed. I'll do 10 tests on speed testing tools such as Google PageSpeed Insights, Pingdom and GT Metrics over 12 hours and we will aggregate the results. After that, we will compare past and present results side by side to see if there are any improvements from the previous version and whether or not the claim of getting an out of the box 90 plus rating on Google PHP Insights is justified. Let's go. Hey, this is Jack, and if you are new to my channel, I focus a lot on building amazing WordPress sites that load fast. I'm a speed junkie, but I have an eye for designs too. So if you want to learn how to build beautiful and fast loading sites, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification. And before we get started, I hope you can give a thumbs up for the hard work. Let's get started. So in the previous test, this was the hosting server. Now, I just want to show you that we are using the same server since we are comparing past results to the current. And this is the domain we are going to use to build our DV page. Let's test this. And here we go. It is exactly the same server. Now, let's go over to the WordPress dashboard. Let me show you that DV is the only team we have installed. And then since we have installed the DV team, we don't need a builder plugin. And as you can see, I have not installed any plugin on this site. And the newest performance update that includes all the speed improvement settings can be found here in the team options under performance. And as you can see, everything is enabled here. Now, the only thing left is to build the page that is exactly the same as the one from the previous test. So please be patient. Let me build this up and I will fast forward the process. And the reason for me showing you the page building process is just to show you the transparency of the process so that you know there is nothing that I have done that will jeopardize the result. I want this to be a fair and objective test to see if this update gives a near perfect score out of the box on Google PageSpeed Insights. So please give me a while to build this while you enjoy the background music. Otherwise, if you trust my process, feel free to skip ahead using the timestamps in the description. So here we go, we have completed the page building process. The next step is for me to do speed tests on this page through Google PageSpeed Insights, Pingdom Tools, as well as GT Metrics. So let's go. Now again, I will fast forward the process and to show you that I actually took 10 hours to complete this test, you can note the GT metrics reporting time. That's the information that cannot be adjusted. And feel free to pause the video to take a look at a summary for each test. I'm pretty sure by now you see the orange color in the mobile results of Google PageSpeed Insights. It is not an out of the box near perfect score as DV promised. And well, some people will say you don't need to give so much attention to the rating as it fluctuates. And I kind of agree with that. So that's why I'm conducting 10 tests to get an average. Now, I would say this is a more credible rating. Wouldn't you agree? Anyway, I'll let this test run and I will speak with you again when we are done with the final test.
Okay, moment of truth. I think you kind of get a feel of how DV performed. But first, let's check out our past result that was done back in April 2021, when its version was 4.9.2. This is the results from GT Metrics, Pingdom Tools, and most importantly, Google PageSpeed Insights mobile score. Now, let's check out the current results after the performance improvement. On GT Metrics, there is a little improvement on the fully loaded time, and the page size has decreased by a big chunk, which is good. It shows that DV has reduced the bloat. The number of requests did improve as well. Overall, on GT Metrics, it showed promising results. Let's go over to Pingdom. The grade has improved by two. The page size has decreased by quite a fair bit. The load time has improved as well and the number of requests has improved by a little. So up to this point, we can be sure that DV has improved a lot in terms of the bloatedness of the builder. But will it get a great score on Google PageSpeed Insights? Let's find out. Now, the data I'm presenting is only for mobile. I feel it is most important. So we will go from the bottom up. The cumulative layout shift has gone up a little. If you don't know, the higher the score, the worse off it is, but it is nothing major for this case. DV is still in the green zone for this. As for the total blocking time, it seems that there is an increase. To get a good score for this metric, the total blocking time needs to be lower than 200 milliseconds. But unfortunately, DV needs to improve on this metric. Now, just in case you want to learn more about the basics and explanation of everything related to Google PageSpeed Insights, I've done an A to Z walkthrough where I share with you how to optimize for each audit that you may have been flagged for. So if you're interested in optimizing for PageSpeed Insights, I've left a link in the description. Now, let me review the speed indexes. As you can see, other than the largest contentful paints, the rest of them did improve. But they are still not within the Google recommendation. The only one that is barely in the green zone is the time to interactive. And finally, did DV give us an out-of-the-box near-perfect score? Unfortunately, the answer is no, but it did improve by a little. So what do you think? What is your opinion about this update? I would love to hear from you. Leave a comment down below. As for me, I won't give an opinion about this, but I'll just state the facts. The results have shown that they have improved on the bloat. However, a near-perfect score is far-fetched. The performance did improve in most cases, but they are marginal. It is not the big leap that DV had promised. But in all fairness, the only variable missing from this test is that I have not used CDN as DV did. So maybe the results would have been different if I had used a CDN. But I did not use that because in my previous test, no CDN was used. So if I use it on this test, it wouldn't be fair. But I just want to say that it is great that DV is putting in the effort to improve its performance. It is great for their users. But in my opinion, I feel they still have a long way to go and a near-perfect score would have to wait. But who knows, maybe DV might get a near-perfect score in the next major test I'm doing in 2022. Either way, I hope that the older generation of page builders will get a good score because then I'll be happy to use them to create tutorials for you guys. But till then, I'll just focus on Gutenberg at the moment. Anyway, at the top, Top right is the A to Z PHP Insights walkthrough and at the bottom is a playlist of speed optimization case studies done on live sites. Hopefully they will help you out. Thank you for watching this video. Take care and as always, stay safe.